Welcome back to Impact Media. Please skip to minute 42 if you have already seen the incident and all of the current case updates. If you are new here, buckle up and give us that like on this video while you enjoy. I, I don't want to be videoed. Uh, you're already on it. I, I don't want to be on it. You don't have that choice. Why? You're out in public, ma'am. I'm in a post office. Are they aware you're doing this? I don't know if they're aware or not. But you are in public. They're closed, ma'am. You even gotta stop committing battery, man. She fucking scratched me good, dude. Oh, wow, yeah. She like dug into me. There. Hey, let them talk. You gonna explain that you batteried two people on camera? I, I really don't know. Hey, Oh, hey, hey ma'am, you're not hey, allowed to, that's, that's battery, that's battery, that's battery. She tried to physically steal our cameras. I had to grab her wrist to remove her from mine. After she missed mine, she grabbed my son's. Thankfully, he was able to also hang on to his. She even turned She's going to try to lie right now, but we got it all on three cameras. She my phone trying to steal it. She tried to, she, they didn't come for you, they came for me. To protect us. No, we filmed you in one position and you attacked us. We didn't go anywhere inside or outside. I'm pressing charges for battery. All right, well, let me get one, one person out. That's fine. She could talk first. Here, she immediately admitted to the theft, but based on the deputy's follow-up clarification, she quickly changed her story to reduce her culpability. The deputies went along with it. No, you tried to take them. You scratched the shit out of yeah, my hand in the process. Phone. I thought you said I could talk to right. first. That's fine. I didn't touch them. I pushed the phone aside so it wouldn't give me Okay. So, where were you? Show me where we're at. Like what I did? Yeah, just done. Okay. Right now? No, like with your hand. Or oh, or I just pushed the phone so that it wasn't. Okay. Uh, Footage from the post office would prove my case, but the deputies refused to review it even after my suggestion. Okay. You got it on camera, okay. thank God. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and lie. Hey, I asked him to please stop doing it. As you can see, I can push around my phone. It's like you just see now that there are a lot of people that they're out here doing that. Who's my disability? So we're going to see what the sheriffs decide to do here. So I mean, it's pretty much the story, so that's all. There's not much to it. All right. 
So here's where we're at. Obviously, it's she wasn't trying to steal anything. She was just trying to turn your guys. That's phone what off. she says. Yeah. But that's not what happened. So on the so video, there's no take trying to grab word? it. So okay. I'm gonna based on the video and all that. So. The so only way I to will. shut off this camera is by grabbing it the yeah, way she did. By okay. touching this button. Okay. So, she so again, I, okay. I'm trying to explain So you guys that are going to minimize, that. that's fine. So what I will do is do you want prosecution for a battery since you're saying I you scratched your I absolutely did. Okay, so do you want prosecution? Absolutely. So are you willing if to you place her under citizen's it. arrest? If you're going to actually do that. Are you willing to place her under yes. citizen's arrest? Okay, so I need your ID now. Then. Okay. If you're willing to place her under citizen's arrest, I'll arrest her for misdemeanor battery for your hand. And then obviously we'll go from there, okay? Yeah. All right, so can I get your ID so I can start the process? Yeah, there you go. Hold that, Nick. And then can I get your ID so I can get your information as a obviously witness to all this? Okay. And then he'll just guys... send you the video that he has. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm good on the ID. It's all on video, regardless. Okay. Kind of grab the candles and grab the I can film anything I want, sir. In fact, you're violating the Bain Act by preventing me from filming. Can I? Public space, man. Hey, hey, Public her space, husband's man. trying to fucking leave me alone, dude. Public space, man. Leave me alone. No, you're intimidating a witness is what's going on. I'll charge you next. The deputy called him by first name the same time his wife did, so they knew them, which is why the charges were minimized. At this point we went home. It was, during the editing process we had, realized how messed up the entire situation was with the Poway Sheriff's deputies. They absolutely minimized the crimes, coached the perpetrator, allowed intimidation. Alright guys, we are here at Poway Sheriff's Department. Yes! How's it going? Wonderful. So you want to speak here or do you want to... It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, uh, so I wanted to obviously get those from you, but I also wanted to file a new police report in regards to the incident yesterday because um, I do believe that additional crimes occurred. I do have video evidence. I can review that with you if you wanted to um, in private, you want to do that. Um, I also believe that the post office video evidence will back me up 100% um, showing that she did try to in fact remove and steal my property. Okay. She did admit it. I don't know if you reviewed just, the... I want to write it down so I don't forget. No, you're fine. Cool? You're fine. Here's so, what I'll do uh, in regards to that. Because, and I don't know if you reviewed the body cam footage, but within a minute of the officer being there, she admitted to him, she's eye to eye, looked him in the eye, said, I tried to take their phones from them, in those exact words. I have it on. So I didn't get a chance to review it. Mm -hmm. I was in a okay. couple of meetings. I, it's um, understandable. It's short notice. But in regards to the report, mm -hmm. there was a report taken. Yes. Now I understand it wasn't for the liking of the charge that you wanted. Yep. Right? It was but just, here, here's it was a softened charge based on your deputy kind of talking her into coaching so, her. So into here's her. what I'll do. Once the case gets submitted over to me mm -hmm. and it gets approved, it gets forwarded over to a detective. Yeah. And then I'll get you that detective's desk line. Okay. And then they can make the proper changes as well so, to that case. I think that's a good path. So I, I just a, feel like the ball's going to get dropped because of what we do. Um, well, I definitely want to file a new police report if, I, if I'm able, um, because I do feel like that crime was not only omitted from the report, but my son, who is a victim of the same exact thing, because she tried to steal his phone as well, and without him protecting his, you know, his items, she would have taken his phone, uh, removed it from his possession, which is a crime. I looked it up, you know, uh, 664, I think the penal code was. Um, he got denied the opportunity to file a complaint because your deputy washed away that part of the crime. So regardless of what happens in my case, he didn't even get a case because you guys denied him that right.
to for him to file a complaint. Right. Is he around right now or no? But I can bring. I, can, I mean, if that's the thing, I can bring him tomorrow if that's uh, if that's a matter of importance. Um, but if, I, if it makes you feel better to do that, then let's do it. I absolutely bring him, give him that opportunity yeah. as well. Because because the he he was a little frustrated because because I didn't send the check. She did. He's at work right now. Okay. So she did in fact state to your deputy and i could show you the footage in less than 30 seconds where she admitted i absolutely tried to take their phones away from them and then but can i can i say something because go this is let's go over this first okay real quick that's fine all right so here's the complaint form okay for internal affairs you could fill this out okay Everything that you told me, yeah. it sounds like it's gonna take you a little bit to write down. And I'm pretty quick at that. I'll, I'll, I, I, yeah. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I can attach a separate form, correct? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So that's what I'm gonna do. I, have, I already have my statement already itemized. I'm just gonna put it into a computer and perfect. So yeah. I, I, you know how you wanted the um, body worn camera footage? Yes. I didn't forget that. So okay. There's two ways of that. You could call this number, okay. or you could go on the website, and it's the Public Records Center, okay. and then you could request it from there. You just reference the case number, okay. and then... And then do I mention that I am the victim in the crime to kind of expedite that, or...? I don't know if it'll expedite okay. it or not. I don't even know if it asks you know if you're a victim or not. That, honestly, okay. that's a whole separate division. Right. I don't know. So I don't want to give you a time no, no, frame, and then... You're fine. I don't want you, you know, to you know, mislead you or something like there. that. Um, so I am unable to file a new police report today. Is so, that what you're saying? So here's what we're going to okay. do for, you know, the case number that you have. Yes. Okay. Once that case gets approved, okay. I'm going to have a detective. It's going to get assigned to a detective. Okay. There's a process for everything. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. Today's a Friday. Yeah. Uh, detectives will be back on a Monday. Okay. Okay. And I would expect to hear back from them on Monday. Yeah. That ph phone number that you called me from, is that do the you... best number for you? Um, was that your cell yes, phone? Or? Yes, okay. that one. Um, but do you understand my concern leaving here today and not filing a new police report? I feel like... Can I say this? Okay. Uh, everything was on body-worn camera? Yes. Yeah. You have it recorded yes. as well? So there's nothing that's going to be omitted? There's nothing that could be erased? Well... Or anything like that? But I've okay. never... If you have any questions... At least in my experience... Um, and... Thankfully, I haven't had a lot of experience in trying to file charges against somebody. <laughs> it's all new to me. Yeah. Um, but in my experience, I've never seen charges later added on a situation like this. Nobody can. Okay. It can happen. But I wouldn't mislead you. I'm okay. not, I've, uh, but I But how got, is that detective going to know? Should I call them that I want to press in additional in charges, or how, how? What's the process there? Well, the, the best thing is your phone number, right? I'm gonna I give it to that detective. Okay. Well, first it has to get assigned to a detective, right? So I got to find out which detective is gonna get it. Once that detective is assigned the case, then I'm gonna give you uh, or give them a phone number, if that's okay yeah. with you. Yeah. To give you a call, and then you can discuss the entire thing with the detective. Okay. And go so. From there. Okay. So that's. Uh, trust me, if there's a, I'm working with you, I'm trying yeah. to do everything I can and I'm trying to please you, uh, but... It's not about being pleased, it, it's, it, it's about I consider what happened and I consider the actions of your deputies reprehensible. Okay. And I consider it, uh, you know, as minor as you guys might see it, it is an injustice that... Because if I had committed the same thing against her, so if I had gone up in her face and I tried to grab her camera, I'd be sitting in jail right now. And I'd be sitting on jail on some serious charges because it is who, you know, because first of all, I'm a That's male. It. You have every right and, to feel that way. No, no, uh, uh, come on. But I, like, you I, know. I, okay. We would have to disagree. Okay. Respectfully. Okay, I have, okay. I, I can't agree with you on that because if, if you arrived on scene and you took the facts at face value and you didn't tell that victim how to change and adjust her story that, oh, no, no, you, you just pushed their camera? Like, he literally coached her. Okay. So, you you that, guys would never do that to me. There's uh, no way in hell that you guys would have coached me into how to be I'm, a better uh, complainant or victim or whatever. I'm sorry you feel okay. that way. Uh, if that's how you feel, then I'm not 
I can't sway your yeah, opinion. But that's why I want to. You know what I mean? Well, that's why I want to. I but mean, if, if that's how yeah. you feel, then that's how. But you that's feel. why, I wanna, and I respect it. Right. That's that's your right. But that's why I was asking to file an additional police report because it, it, you know I feel like that first police report is just it, it, it's covered I, in. I think for now the police. best route is going to be the way that I specify. Hey, so you are going to so. decline letting me file a new police report in regards to the charges that were glossed over yesterday. It's not about declining or anything like that. It's it's a fact. Well, no, it's your choice. It's, you have that choice to either allow me to file a No, I think the proper program. way right now, the best way, is to go and let the detectives handle it at this I, point. I disagree with that. Sir, I respect you, but I got to get yeah. going. I have a radio call, and I have to go to a meeting as well, too. So I, you don't want to shake my hand? No, I will, but I, I don't get. I don't. I respect you, hey. but I, I got to get going. I can't. But not be enough here. to file a new police report. It's not. It's not a thing like that. Hey, because the crime did happen. I respect you, sir. But you, you obviously don't. Phone, you say I, that. No, but I on hey. the phone. I, remember, I said there's no confrontation. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I, 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 I I'm trying to as well, but I'm literally asking you to help me file a new police report or send me somebody that can. Okay. I'll can you right do that for me? Ugh. All right, guys. Um, he doesn't want to fulfill my request. He knows the detective's not going to call me. This case is not the kind of case where that kind of follow-up is going to happen. I'm going to get a letter in the mail. I'm going to get a notice of a either a court date or charges didn't go through. And that's it. There, there's, there's nothing. They're not going to investigate this like that. They're going to be like, okay, did this happen or did it not happen? It did. If the misdemeanor charge even goes through... I would just get a notice of this is the court date. That's it. I do not expect a detective to call me at all. I, that's just, it's not going to happen here. And um, I feel like this is the way that they can kind of brush it off. And I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I, I you know, again, I believe that they have a really hard job and a difficult job. And yes, this entire situation, probably very petty in their, in their eyes. It, it probably really is, you know. But people cannot continue to walk around thinking that it's okay to lay hands and steal people's property or attempt to steal people's property just because you don't like what they're doing. I tried to take their homes. And we had over a hundred people visit the post office yesterday. Over a hundred people. Most of them super friendly to us, positively engaging with us. We had a couple people that were maybe a little irritated, upset, talked to us, um, you know, but they didn't attack us, they didn't accost us, they didn't try to steal our property. And so that's what we're here trying to correct is like, if we're going to do this, we got to do it right. Um, I do have the complaint forms. I do have the information to get the body cam footage. So we're going to do that. But I absolutely want to file a new police report because I feel like the other one's wildly tainted. And what is this? So I'm going to give you the case number. Okay. And then uh, the best thing to do is I'm going to have a detective. You want me to put it in here? Yeah. Cool? Looks like... You guys are not going to allow me to follow the police report? I'm give you a call on Monday. For sure, though? Yeah. Like 100%. Well, Monday, well it'll be Monday. Okay. The case I just, I just want to make sure, because, I mean, otherwise I'll have to... I won't be here, but... You will not be here on Monday? No. So, are you, I mean, my ask is this. So, this is, in your guys' opinion, I'm assuming, too. I mean, you guys have a large department. You guys have a lot of area to cover. Okay. You, get, you guys are busy. You guys have way more serious things than this. So, I just feel like the detective is going to be like, well, did she touch him? Did she not? That's it. I just, I don't understand how the detective is going to receive the information that I want to pursue additional charges. I'm giving you my word. Okay. That I will have a detective give you a call. Okay. Okay. So I will accept your word. Thank you, sir. Um, will you follow up with me when you do come back? Like I will. On I Tuesday have your number. Or Wednesday or? I'll be back next week. Okay. And the number that you called oh. me from, the one that uh, popped up, is that an office line that that's I can like reach you? That's like okay, so the main line. Okay. So it's the main line that will pop up. And then yeah. I got a no ID call like 20 minutes after that, was that you guys again or no? No. Okay, so I just did, I, was, I wasn't sure if I missed your call, but it came up as a no caller ID. I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. It would be that same number that popped up. Okay, that's right. Um, and payment, payment. Yes, sir. All right, perfect. So Thank you. If I have any other questions, I'll call you, but I really hope that... I
I, Sorry, one more thing. I yes. put two copies down, one for your son. Yes. Okay, so what do we do about his situation? Because he obviously didn't get an opportunity to press any charges. So would he come in? Like, can I bring him in tomorrow and we'll do a police report? Like, yeah, how would it, he go about finding Well, let's, yeah, bring him in tomorrow. And then yeah. um, the office isn't, the lobby isn't open on the weekends. Oh, okay. So Monday so if you regardless. Wanna, yeah, Monday. Okay. So I'll just find on Monday then. Okay. Just, we'll just bring him in here. And, sure. Okay. Uh, All right. But no, it'll be Tuesday because he works on Monday again. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's, you know, we'll go from there. I do Thank appreciate you. Cause, oh, of course. Because prior, before, when you walked away, you hadn't confirmed that you were going to relay the information. That's why. <laughs> so I was a little like, My well, apologies. Okay, I, you're fine. Confused. No, you're fine. You're fine. I just, I hope between now and then that you get to review the body cam footage. I really do. Um, okay. There's, you know, especially when they did, when they came back to finally when I was going to give my ID and file the, literally on the video. And I don't know if you have an email. Is your email on this card? My, my email? Yeah. No, it's not on there. Do you want to, can I, because I want to email you the link to the video so you can actually, I don't, or you're going to have the body cam footage. Um, okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that, because um, on the way back to me to start filing, the, he's like, ah, oh, there's nothing of this. Well, like they, they brushed it off in every chance that they could. Just, okay. And then to allow the, vic, the, the victim, um, to allow the uh, perpetrator, <laughs> um, to have her husband then accost me for 15 to 20 seconds solid. I, I watched it again after I talked to you. I remember you said this on the phone. Yeah, yeah. I know the entire thing. All right. So. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. All right. Have Appreciate it. Yep. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care. All right, guys. So I will be waiting that call. I will be waiting that call on Monday. Absolutely. And then I'm also going to bring my son here on Tuesday to file a new police report. Um, in regards to his charges that should have been filed and accepted. Good morning, guys. We are at the uh, Poway Sheriff's Department doing our follow-up. I wanted to ask you guys a question. I need you to comment your answer down below before you continue watching this video. I want you to... Let me know how you think the call with the detective yesterday went. So, did he in fact modify and add the charges? Or did he drop all the charges together? Or did he submit it as is without amending the complaint? So we got somebody staring at us right here. As I'm making my intro with a weird look on his face. Alright, well, just staring. You could have waved or something at least. Oh. <laughs> You're just staring at us is a little weird and uncomfortable. Oh, well, but that's okay. I make people uncomfortable all the time too, so. Well, wouldn't you expect people to. Stare? Maybe. You know, people always stop and stare at when there's something like that going on. Yeah, maybe. Wondering what they're doing. Yeah, you know. You're allowed to stare. <laughs> I just, you know. Little... Yeah, oh, no, I know. I know what you mean because. Yeah. When there's for no reason. I don't like people to stare either. You yeah. know, some people will stare when there's nothing unusual to stare yeah. at. <laughs> well, you know, I could definitely say this is unusual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Let me give you a... Um, something that I found out to people. Well, what is it? I can't carry anything with me right now. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's just, it's not a prayer of indoctrination or religion. It's just a prayer of faith. Um, not not like any particular indoctrinating church. No, no, I, that, I understand. So I'm actually agnostic, so I wouldn't take it anyways. I'm not going to, yeah. Oh, okay. Would but anybody else like that? No, they're, I'm yeah. They're, they, 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 they got to go with me. We can't really carry stuff with us right now. Oh, okay. Alrighty. But I appreciate it. Okay. You have a wonderful day. Oh, well, I'm sorry if my staring made No, no. It was, a little, it was a little weird and different. I, I, I you know, <laughs> I know normally I thought... when people stare, they'll give us like a little wave or, or flip us off. One of the two, but you know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they usually wave. Oh. But it's all right. Okay. You have a wonderful morning. Well, I thought it was interesting how you turned it around and just... Well, 
Yeah. Was viewing me and saying, "Well, yes, indeed, here we something." I didn't hear the rest. No, I just, of it. I just, because uh, I was actually filming, and then I noticed you were staring at me, and so I just filmed you and just said, "Hey, somebody's staring at us." And <laughs> okay. So no big deal. Well, I think you might have a problem there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> in the future, of people not staring. Yeah, possibly. Well, I do this all the time, though. Well, but see, the thing is, it it it's just that your apparatus there is very interesting. It is. It's how you have all those things right there, and that's what I was looking at. Yeah. Wondering what, like there is, like there's the lights. The it's just really interesting. So how, we have how you put this that together. So we have this light usually, which we turn on. This is just to let people know they're being recorded. Oh. Um. Oh. This is a backup camera. Uh huh. And then obviously my lights, which take shadows off of people's faces and stuff right. under certain lighting conditions. Yeah, because I haven't ever seen anything yeah. like that before. And That's then we got my mirror, mirror, so I can actually see right behind me because we've had people approach us from behind. Yeah. And, and so, so I can see it, them coming. Is this something you put together yourself or you can buy it? Like I, I've i bought all these little parts and pieces independently and, and kind of yourself. pieced it together. That's and then we have I'm our radios. Sure. We like to communicate with each other. And then I got my battery, which wow. charges everything. Oh, amazing. So. See, because my son was very good with electronics. Yeah. And uh, he would have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> I take it your son's no longer with us? No. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm... Well, um... Good luck with your Oh yeah, we're just gonna go we're just gonna go visit the police station today or yeah, sheriff's department. Yeah. So cool. I yeah. mean it's interesting. It looks like it's interesting whatever project you're doing. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It is very interesting. Yeah, I I, 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 I would suppose it's for social media. Yeah. <laughs> That's generally yeah. what it would be for. Yeah, a lot of it. <laughs> we, we disseminate interactions with people and different, you know, things. Um so you actually have a YouTube Channel? Uh, we have a lot of different stuff that we use, uh, platforms that we disseminate all of our information on. Uh -huh. But is it political? Like no, not know? at all. We stay. We, we're completely apolitical, and we we try not to be judgmental of you know. Uh, unbiased. Yeah. So yeah, otherwise, we nice. can't really disseminate something if we're laying all of our opinions all over the table on it. Um, so we get interactions. We do give feedback about those interactions or those engagements, but we don't really. Um, form a decided opinion on you know political stuff, and you know we try to stay out of that. Well, are you sure you wouldn't like one of these? Because I've handed out like thousands of these. Over I'm the past positive. Years. I'm very agnostic. I do appreciate the thought, okay. and I do appreciate uh, you doing it in a kind and way. It's not me. I'm yeah. not the one. I, I just provided the penmanship, yep. and I'm the messenger. But yeah. I get no credit for it because it came. It comes from God. And once I hand these to anybody. From there on, I'm released from all responsibilities between <laughs> them and God if they want to um, receive any message from Absolutely, God. and that's a very kind thing that you're doing. So I appreciate that you are operating your faith in a very respectful way, and I think that's amazing. So. Oh, thank you. But, well, I wish I could see what you look like. But <laughs> yeah, we don't share that very often. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice meeting you. You have a blessed day. Okay, you too. Yep. Whatever you're thinking about answering below, um, they did nothing. I didn't get the call that I was promised by the sergeant. So we got zero call. We are here to figure out what happened and why and go from there. All right, guys, maybe I was feeling just a little testy there in the beginning of the encounter. I was like, what the hell? I just got here. Um, no, I was feeling a tad testy and that's all right. Um, shit happens, but so guys, um, like I said, they didn't call me. They had no intention to. The sheriff sergeant who was present here, and I'll repost that clip right now, promised me that something would be done and I would be called and they would do a follow-up and they would let them know I want to amend the charges um, against the lady that batteried us and tried to steal our equipment. So we're going to do what we promised because we, we keep our word with them. And we're going to file his report on the theft, attempted theft, yeah. in violation of Penal Code 664, the California Penal Code. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, hopefully they do take the report. We'll see. So it does look like the sheriff's department is open. We're going to go ahead and uh, go in here. Turn on radios, guys, just in case. <laughs> Yeah.
about Peter, though. I tried calling, but he was busy. I was just on a, I was just on the line with you. I imagine it was you I talked to when I just called. It was a lady detective that handled the uh, uh, the paperwork for doing certain things. Do you know who yeah, I, I, have a case number or? No. No, that's why I want to talk to the patrol sergeant. Okay, just come over, okay? Thank you. Um, so I am here, um, but I think she was here first. Oh, I, you've been helped, right? I've been helped. Okay. Yeah, I've been All right. Thank you. So, um, we were told by Sergeant Payman uh -huh. um, that we would, we would have received a call from the detective working on our case on Monday. He promised us over and over repeatedly when we came here. That call never was placed, and so I told him we'd be back on Tuesday to file a new police report, um, two of them. So I would like to sit down with a sergeant and file a police report, please. Uh, usually, let me, let me. Uh, no, we, we did tell him, we number. did tell him that we would come here. Okay, you have a case number? So guys, it sounds like she's trying to send us away without a police report. That's not happening today. What's that? I hope you're not recording us. We're recording everything right now. Well, I'm not giving you permission. You don't have to when you're in a public lobby. Really? Yeah. We're not going to share that today. We're here on official business. Okay. Well, I hope so. Take care. Well, we you over there. You guys, we're taking a movie. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff's department. Uh, yeah. You have a good day. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, actually I was hit by another car and oh, I just want to have the official report. Thank you. You know guys, it's very interesting. You are recording with three cameras but you are all masked and with is that unlawful? No, it's just silly. It's silly? It's okay. You're ignorant. You're allowed to be ignorant. That's okay. And I have to come to the sheriff's office first. No, I, you know, because I don't know where to go to. I'm a hundred percent disabled veteran. She had to, like, put a spiteful thing in there. my phone, and I had a pacemaker. So if he shuts off my phone, they don't know what's happening. And he does, he's doing it quite a bit. I got, I got a letter from the guy. I can't tell you already. Oh, the police officer will be out shortly, okay? Can I get your name? And then let me look at the case and I'll have somebody come out and talk to you. A year ago. I didn't believe him. But now, the other day, my computer went black on my phone. Um, I couldn't get my, um, the thing worked for to show my heart. My pacemaker's working or not. And without that, I'm screwed, literally, one way or the other. Um, <laughs> it seems weird to all of you, so who is the well, guy? I got the letter from the guy. Do you have the letter with you? Yeah. He sent me about like 60 or 70. Letters? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it. He wants Bitcoin. Yeah, so it's a phishing scam. Well, I, I don't, don't understand why your stuff would be going down. Because now it's not well, a scam anymore. So, uh, all right. Now I call Apple. They work with me for two days. 
Um, Yesterday to work with me. Yeah. Apple? Well, it's an Apple phone, and I got oh, an Apple okay. computer. So if one gets this screwed your phone up. Company? Um. Jeez, I oh. My son held that. So I gotta keep this thing here. Provider is. So for the phone part, you're gonna need to go to your provider, and they're gonna probably have to reset your phone. Well, I they get it, they reset it. And then it'll go, they'll reset it. It'll get me back on about my pace, make it all so that it turns white, it's gone. So they keep screwing with um, So I gotta keep this thing off. What? Well, no, tell me first. I don't want you to mess something up. What happens when you, when you turn it on? When I turn it on, Things start going to Hayward. My address book is gone. They took. They didn't take my book. They took everything. Um, I tried. Uh, it tells me that my pacemaker is not hooked up. I, yeah, I don't know how that software works, so I can't oh, well, tell you if that's something that they're doing. Yeah, it goes through the phone. phone. Issue with your software. Yeah. Well, it goes through the phone. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, it's an app, but I can't tell you if the app is malfunctioning. Or if this is something caused by the other thing. I that's why I say yeah. you need to take that to the phone company and they're gonna have to look into that and see if your yeah. phone is not secure. I can't tell you yeah. if your phone's secure. I'm not, or not. No, I'm not I'm not angry with you or anything. That's no, no, just, I know. I'm frustrated. I'm not angry with yeah. you. I'm just, <laughs> I'm I'm just trying to help. So um, I catch a guy beat his head off with a baseball bat, but well, Oh, from New York, what can I tell you? Uh, no, I'll send, tell me about I'll send your, a big folio over there to do it. Tell me about the computer. The same thing. My dress books are gone, number one. Um, I, I can't send email. Then sometimes I can see mail. emails. I had on Apple twice. They led me through everything. My phone, they wiped it out, and it started again the minute I got back online. Okay. Do you have anyone that you, like... I've been doing it for 30 you're... years, so I know, I know about computers. You know about computers? Yeah, I'm not, you know, so, I'm an old guy, but I ain't stupid. Well, you know how to get rid of a Trojan, right? You just reformat it and... I got the best, you know, I got the best, uh, whatever the hell you call it now, um, antivirus. Yeah, but that's not necessarily going to catch every Trojan that comes I, in. There's some I, viruses that aren't updated in your virus software yet. I think so. they get the best so that they keep it up. And it depends on how it was sent to you, too. If it was something that you clicked on, then you yeah, installed yeah. it, basically. You have yeah. like, admin authorization on your own computer. So, sure. you know. I understand. And all they got to do is that you don't even have to click on it. Something they send you, it's put them out, it goes on your computer. Uh, yeah, it depends. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. It's a connectivity <laughs> issue. Anyhow, um, no, I read where yeah, you have a dollar that's coming. First, this is the stock before you go. Have you sent him any money? You didn't pay anything, right? No. You're not out anything. No, it's, it's, it's just these issues that you're not able to connect to your app and that your computer is malfunctioning. My computer and my phone. Yeah, your phone yeah. and your computer. Yeah. Okay, so for the phone, I'm going to tell you, you're going to need to go to your, right. um, whoever your phone Who is here to yeah. meet with somebody? Was that you, sir? And for your computer. Um, okay. Okay, I hope you guys want everything. So we want to file a police report, uh, his report, and then I also have one I wanted to file. Okay. I talked to Sergeant Payman. He was going to have a detective call me, and he promised me I would have received a call yesterday. That never happened, which I knew it wasn't going to happen because yeah. he tended to lie through yeah. that whole conversation. Um, but I did get on video that he promised I would get a call on Monday okay. and it'd be handled. <coughs> wasn't handled, so we're here to file two police reports. Okay. Do you, you said you already filed a report? I would have said that. He's buried it. I'm sorry. I'm an overtime no, no. sergeant. I normally don't do So we probably so. should sit down and explain it because it is a long, it is a lengthy thing. But there was an incident where a woman had assaulted us and tried to steal our phones. Okay. Um, he. The police that came out did not let him file a police report, okay. even though a crime happened. Um, so was a report taken for that? Already? Yes. Okay. But not for him. For my okay. where I was assaulted. Okay. So they claimed that the woman was trying to just push our things, but actually found the recording, and you guys have the body camera footage of her confessing 
that she did actually try to steal on purpose our equipment individually, two separate things. So what you're going to want then, mm -hmm. you're not looking for a separate report? Explain that too. Okay. Somebody goes into a bank and robs a bank. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's say there are 10 people in the bank. Mm -hmm. Every one of those 10 people does not get a separate. Mm -hmm. okay? Uh, okay. Even though they're all victims okay. in a crime. So that's so not what the, so, hold okay. on. Let me finish. You're getting different information uh, so from two different what, sergeants. What, so what it's going to be is I can get your deputy. Now they're all tied up on something. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be here all day. Okay. Uh, if that's what it takes. Uh, hey, I'll, I'll get somebody out here. It's going to be a little okay. bit because they're tied up on something. Um, what is going to be is adding his statement to the initial report. So that's where we're, that's where we're disagreeing. Okay. You would have to see the video. His okay. statement's already on the report. Okay. But the deputies on video talked her, coached her because they knew her and her, his, her husband. We got it all on video. It's already gone up. We got the entire thing on video. So I'm working on two complaints against those deputies because they, on video, coached her into changing her story from I tried to steal their camera to I pushed it out of the way. So there, nothing's going to come of the current report. I want to file a new police report based on the fact that they tried to cover up what actually happened. Okay, well, that's a... And I was told a detective would call me, and that didn't happen either. So, so far, all you guys have just done is lie to so, me and cover things up, so I don't... I don't sir, okay. detectives either work Monday through Thursday or Tuesday to Friday. There's a possibility okay. that the detective, whoever got your case... Was Sergeant Payman, okay. right here, standing at that door shook my hand and promised me he would have the detective reach out Monday. Okay. The detective did never. I'm also, like I said, okay. sir. You guys, like can, I said, sir. you guys can, you guys can, okay. I, I'm an overtime sergeant. Uh -huh. I'm not Sergeant Payman, obviously. Yep. So if you have issues with that, you need to talk to him. Now, if you'd like to have his statement amended or uh, his statement. No, it's not amended. No, no. His statement is on the report. See, okay. this is the problem we're having here. Your two deputies. Okay. So let me, okay. let, let me see if I'm understanding you right. Okay. You had an incident where uh, somebody tried to take a phone of yours. Uh, two, and, and, two phones. Okay, two phones. Yours and yours. Yep. Okay. As she um, also batteried me, okay, so they so, filed so a report for battery. So they, fired, they filed a report for battery. Yes. Okay. So what you want is a separate report for the, trying to the take attempted the phone. theft. Yes, because okay. it's it. You know, uh, my attorney said that it is in violation of okay. Penal Code six six four. I was told by Sergeant Payman that the detective would reach out, number one, and that he could file a police report here okay. in person on Tuesday, which is okay. today's Tuesday, 9-15. So okay. we're here under the direction of Sergeant okay. Payman. And now you want to say so that that's this, not... No, what I'm, okay. tell, what I'm telling you is that incident is documented. You don't get a separate report for each victim in each charge. Mm -hmm. So if... Except the... The charge was never filed. He didn't get an opportunity. It's easy, it's, it's easy enough to add a charge on the existing Okay, report. well then how well, does that get done if the detective I, doesn't give us call? When we were promised... I told you I, told you okay. I will send a deputy. All right. They're tied up on something. It's probably okay. going to be a little bit, so hang out. Right. Uh, and so you don't take reports? No. Okay. Uh, so a deputy will be here. I'll get somebody dispatched, but it's going to be a little bit. That's fine. Uh, we'll stand right here and we'll okay. wait. All right. Yeah, we'll get somebody over. It's just it's uh, amending or adding a statement. And we tried to do that with Sergeant Payman, and he said the detective had to do that. So okay. we're just being fed a bunch of bullshit right now from okay. everybody. Well, if you have issues with that, you'd have to talk to Sergeant Payman. No, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not I, saying I'm you're, not, not, you're not being an a-hole, and I appreciate that. So I'm not trying to be an a-hole back, but I'm, I am tired of driving up here and getting told different information from two different stripes. And, you know. Okay. Well, hey, hang out. Like I said, deputies and then are after on something. two deputies, and one of the deputies, and it's just because they knew her husband. So they actually let him accost me right in front of him. Like, I, I wish okay. Payman did watch this body camera, which I'm assuming he didn't yet. But it's, it sounds like you, you said you already filed a complaint on that? I'm working on it. Okay. So, so I have my attorney. Be, my attorney's actually drafting it because we okay. are going to file that, a complaint. That will be handled yeah. by internal affairs. Yeah. Okay. So let's hang out. Deputies are tied up on something. I'll get somebody That's fine. We'll sit right here. We'll wait. Okay. And we'll keep filming. All Thank right. you. Thanks. Are you all right, sir? All right. What's up? So apparently this gentleman... Who was just in here at the crutches. I'm um, assuming that's his girlfriend or wife. Um, they just moved here from another state. Um, they're staying at the Ramada here. Um, but he apparently came here to register as a sex offender. But the sheriff's department doesn't handle that. That's the police department that does that. So he's got to go find the uh, police department to go register um, as his sex offender self. Mm -hmm.
Welcome to the Poway Sheriff's Department. We are the doorman. <laughs> Extra points, guys, if you can identify this woman on the back of my son's phone. <laughs> How you doing, babe? You having a good day? Yeah, okay. All right, you have a safe day. All fun. We're just video recording. Oh. You have a good one, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, guys, it is about to be 10 a.m. And we have still yet to meet with the deputy to file um, the amended report. The sergeant had zero interest in taking it himself. He claims that he doesn't do reports, which is actually false. I know for a fact that sergeants can uh, still take reports. He just didn't want to deal with it. Um, you know, it, it, it's that push it on to somebody else situation. Um, so... Normally, our interactions with this department have gone really well, like amazingly well. This incident, now that we're dealing with them a little bit more deep, it's uh, highlighted the failures of the department um, quite a bit, actually. Um, the fact that he can take a report and chose not to, that's, you know. So some people commented down below that they think that that gentleman who came to the scene and got in our faces, they think he's a deputy or somebody who works in the fire department um, because they knew him. They obviously knew him. They called him by first name when he was accosting us. They did call him by first name. Um, so they knew him, which means they obviously know the wife as well. Um, she probably attends all the events, barbecues, whatever they got going on. Um, so that is exactly the reason why this police report isn't going to go anywhere if we don't push it. So, um, and the, and that's also why they didn't push the extended charges. And that's also why, um, they're trying to push this under the rug. And that's also why the Sergeant doesn't want to deal with the report. He's making us wait, hoping we leave. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. We're going to be here all day. I'm going to film everybody coming in and out of here. Um, it don't matter to me. I ain't got nowhere to be. That's not allowed. No recording. Cut that out. Cut that right now. Are you filming right now? You better stop that. I don't consent to my, my face being on camera. Cut it out. Take your mask off. No. Delete that video right now. <laughs> How dare you have a mask? This is this is my privacy. You you guys created yourself. Take your mask off. Delete that video right this instant. <laughs> Sure, you can't come in here looking like that. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> yeah, the phone hasn't fallen out of it. Guys, we had to put these tennis balls on our poles because when the pole is set on the ground and you spin like this a lot, it takes the rubber away and it sits on metal. And I noticed in last week's video that when I was turning like this, you could hear the and during the editing, I'm like, what the hell is that sound? It was coming from the metal monopod touching the ground. <laughs> no, 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 I done. So, I was waiting on the doorbell. I didn't mean the doorbell ditch. <laughs> We're just waiting on the deputy. Yo guys, if you are in San Diego, California, make sure you visit FMG for all of your automotive needs. They do an amazing job. They've done restorations from frame up, anything that you want done, custom cars or just down to the simple repairs and you don't want to get ripped off. He knows how to get everything done for you. Uh, really good, honest, very forward guy. Um, he's not going to sit there and BS you. He'll tell you exactly how it is. Uh, yeah, and they finance everybody. Who's the one that's calling or making the report? Uh, actually, technically both of us, but... Uh, when I talked to Sergeant Payman, he said I already had a report done and that the detective would amend it on Monday. He'd call me and amend the complaint. Monday came, went, the detective didn't call. So that's why we're here. I told him if I didn't get the call, I'd be here on Tuesday and file new reports. So apparently I'm going to file a new one. And then he needs to file a separate report as well. So. Okay, so who are you guys? What's that? Who are you guys? As like, you want our name? Yeah, you want your IDs and like figure out what's going on. I'm, yeah. just, I'm not gonna identify. I'm not here to make a report. He's just here to. Okay. Yeah. And you want to file a report? Yes. yes. And what report do you want to file? So it's an attempted theft under Penal Code six six four. That's the no, no, Penal I'm Code that I. Okay. That's well, I'm clarifying. My attorney is the one that told me. Okay. 
So I'm talking. This is my son. Okay. Am I not allowed to talk on his behalf? The, I need to get okay. a statement. So I, I, if right. I'm doing it, I need to take independent statements. Well, no, and that's fine. He'll give you the statement. I just wanted to clarify a couple okay. things prior to Perfect. the statement. Okay. Do you have a case number originally assigned to you? you so to them? me, uh, they looked up the report number, so I'm sure they have it in the back. Um, the my attorney has all that right now because he's filing formal complaints against the two deputies. Um, we. What had happened is the deputies on scene knew the woman that had assault, that batteried us and tried to steal our phones. And so the deputy on camera, we got it all, we filmed it all and your body worn camera will confirm this as well, um, or their body worn cameras will confirm everything. But she admitted the first 30 seconds that they arrived, she admitted, blurted out, spontaneous utterance, whatever you guys call it. I tried to take their phones from them you know, she wanted possessions of our phone because we were filming in public. Okay. Um, we were standing in place. She left the parking lot, came running up to us, and tried to steal our phones. So the deputy coached her into saying, uh, you mean you pushed their phones because you didn't want to be filmed? You pushed it? And so she changed her story to that. And I got it all on camera that they, okay. that they coached her. And then her husband showed up to accost us, got all up in our face. And the husband, uh, the deputy called the husband by the first name. Not by his last name, not by saying, hey, sir, called him by first name. So it's obvious that, that they knew this couple. And so that's why this complaint, you know, the report was washed down into a simple battery that's probably going to be dropped anyways. Um, when it should have been written up for, you know, uh, Penal Code 664, which I told them about when it happened as well. So we were on the phone with the attorney at the time also. So. Um, I wanted to make sure that the plan, the, the, the report gets either amended on mine or and that he's able, cause he, they denied him the ability to file a report altogether on his case. Cause she tried to steal his phone also. Okay. And so he's not even listed in the, in the, in the charges at all. So. Okay. Uh, do you have an Yeah. <clears throat> and we've had nothing but great interactions with you, your department as a whole in general. He has been so exceptional until this incident. And I don't know what's just, going on. We just here to do our job. We yeah. provide the, 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 the same service to everyone. Except for that couple. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, had I batteried her and tried to steal her phone, I, I would have been sitting that's, in jail. Uh, what's your phone number, sir? I need to take his independent statement now. That's right. That's fine. Right. I'll, I'll... I understand you already gave me yours. You were with her present. Yeah. So I need to get his that's statement fine. right now. Do you want to step outside with him? Just so yeah. Take his yeah. So that's fine I... too. Okay. As long as he can right. record it, then we're right. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it just so that his, his statement's out influence no, no, everybody. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Just, I agree just with how that. We split, up, we split up witnesses so their statements are yeah. by the people. Right. So yeah. I, did, I, I have a general question, not related. I don't want to relate it to this incident because you weren't there. Okay. Yeah. In general, if you run into a person that you know and you have to arrest them or ticket them for something, do you invite another deputy i mean is that the right thing to do is invite another deputy into the scene or especially if there's a if there's a victim there at the same time because that's where that's what happened here is the one of the deputies that arrived knew them mm -hmm. and the which was the shorter one with the gray hair and i forget his name right now um but he knew the woman knew the husband called him by first name when he arrived um and i feel like that's why the charges got way lessened and kind of walked down and kept saying, well, you know, it, that didn't really happen. No, she just wanted to push it. She didn't want to be filmed. This is after we recorded otherwise. Like she tried to take the phone. Like I had to, literally, I had to grab her wrist and remove it from my from my setup. Mm -hmm. She was trying to steal my phone. I and then she and then she went after him. It's situational. Yeah. Like I'm a school resource officer. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes people put me in positions, even my favorite students, yep. where I have to get involved. Yeah, yeah. And I have to be impartial. Hey. You know, you know, do I want to arrest my, you know, my students? Yeah. No, because I don't want them to be in trouble. No, absolutely. That, they put me in that position yeah. where I have to. Yeah. We try to be impartial. Yeah. That, that's, that's the biggest thing. So, so this incident was not impartial at all. And that's where my concern is. That's why I have an attorney working on it right now. Um, filing the actual formal complaints because he clearly coached her off of saying, because the like, spontaneous utterance, like literally the second he got out of the car, spontaneous statement, yeah. she explicitly said on camera, I got the, the audio and everything. Um, I tried to take the cameras from them. Okay. And then he's telling her, oh, so you pushed it like this and kind of coached her into changing it. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, no, I was just pushing it out of the way because I didn't want them filming, which is not the case. 
she came, she walked all the way up to it to take our phones, and yeah, she's so admitted to taking to our phones. We try, make, we try to ask questions that aren't leading questions, so that's that's hard to do. But he definitely let her on yeah. that one. Was so. like, like he said, I wasn't yeah. there. I, I didn't no, know no. what was happening. Thankfully, I got the holding on camera, and yeah. I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for the body footage as well. Um, and I think my attorney is going to make a formal request of that as well this week. Yeah. Um, but I definitely, you know, had, and I know this, and you know this, and you could, you know, I'm sure, you know, you'll kind of walk the fine line on it, and that's fine. I know for a fact, if I walked up to a woman, such as her, and she's sitting in her car and like open the door or something. And if I walked up to her and I grabbed her camera and ripped it out of her hand, I'm going to jail. Uh, that, that's straight up. I'm going to jail uh, for, for attempted theft, whatever it is, the 664 charge, um, which would encompass, encompass attempted theft. Um, I'm going to jail, period. Like there, there's no way, especially with me not knowing you guys, that, that, that I would have walked away from that incident without, you know, actual charges. Um, and in this case... And I, I told them, I called them out on it as they were doing it. And they kept, you know, oh no, she just she, she just said that she was pushing it out of the way. She's, no, she just, I didn't realize I caught it on camera of her. Like I said, I can't, yeah. I can't speak to that, that yeah. incident because I wasn't there. I don't know all the yeah. facts and stuff like that. But we, 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 we try to be impartial. That, that's yeah. the whole thing. Uh, yeah. So I did get his statement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you said your name is Jack. Can yeah. I see your ID? Yeah. yeah. Here's your ID back. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a card or do you need one? I have it written down here. Take my idea. So yeah, he did explain me pretty much. Same yeah. what he told me. Um, I just didn't like that the sheriff helped change it from like, and I got it all on video, which is the great part. Yeah. Hey guys, watch out behind you. I didn't realize, I didn't know I caught the part on video where she was, um, where they had admitted. Yeah to trying to take our cameras from us. Like, that's the first thing she said. I didn't realize I caught that on video because at the time I was turned like this and the camera was just recording until yeah. I went home and edited the, the fact that I heard that. I was blown away because you know, like she literally told it do, to the officer. Do you think she was taking the phone uh, because she didn't want to be recorded or she wanted to steal it? No, no, so she she obviously did not want to be recorded, okay. but she wanted possession of the phone so that we didn't have it because my thought is she wanted to delete the, but she's not allowed to do that regardless. Oh. It doesn't matter I'm why, just, she, I'm just, yeah. I'm just asking. It doesn't matter why she wanted to possess my phone. Okay. If I grabbed your body camera right now because I didn't want you recording me, come on, bro. I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. It's a question. So yeah. I can't speculate on why she wanted to remove the phone from my possession. Okay. I can say that for a fact, she admitted that that was the issue. Okay. And then two minutes later, she was saying, oh, no, I was just pushing it out of the way. That's not what happened at all. She had her hand in my entire setup, and I had to physically remove her hand from my setup. And then she admitted to the cop within 30 seconds, and I got all of the video, and I'll send, I want your email so I can send it to you later. Um, I got the entire thing where she admitted, word for word, I've heard it 500 times, yeah. is I tried to take their phones. Okay. So, yeah, and, yeah. Okay. and so uh, that uh, utterance tells me that there should have been an additional charge, at least of the 664 penal code. Sure. Uh, just like I explained to Nick, mm -hmm. in order like for, for me to verify 100% who yep. you are, I know you give me your ID, yep. which I, right? Um, in order for me to verify 100% yeah. who you are, I need to take pictures of you, with, I need to see uh, like your face to verify it with your ID. If that's so okay that, with you. That's a strange request because other when they took the original report, they didn't have to oh, do that okay. either. That's, so okay. that's what, I'm so just I'm not going to do that. But, I'm, I'm yeah. letting you know. All right. Just letting you know. So you have to listen. Let me. Well, no. Let me. Let me explain my reluctance. Is because the deputies that took the original report knows that couple, and that couple wanted our. They wanted to see our face. They kept telling the deputy, "Pull their face down. Pull their face down. I want oh. their picture." Because I feel like they're going to retaliate against us. Because I feel like the victim uh, or the perpetrator. I feel like the perpetrator in this case is either in law enforcement and that's why you knew you guys and the deputy called him by first name or he's a firefighter some somehow related to okay. what you guys do just so that's why i don't really want my face in the case file understandable just let you know mm -hmm. we, we take a report right yeah um if it goes to the district attorney's office yeah. they would need to verify you just let you know no no and that's fine i guess fine. that i just okay. because your department that's knows fine. this couple okay i don't really want my face being passed around to that individual fair enough okay. what's your phone number I'm not so, going to go to court like this. Not, yeah, they won't let you yeah. go to court. I can promise you yeah, that. Yeah. 
Uh, what's that? Gmail, Yahoo? What Gmail. Gmail. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna go to court like this or anything. I just they want your link. But yeah, they want, but because know. they are connected to you yeah. guys, I don't really want my picture okay. on people's cell phones. That's and, fine. Right. Um, where do you work at? I'm retired. Retired. Okay. My boys retired me four years ago. Take that. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm sure uh, we've been explained before. Like deputies that file an initial report. Yep. It's basically gonna be your both his statements yep. with an additional charge it's going to be added yeah. into initial report okay you, you understand yeah, that? no that's fine i just i wanted so, to make sure i don't know why this yeah this second report yeah it's going to be written by me yeah right so when if you in the future want to request it or uh -huh. you know with the da and follow up you're going to see no, no, and that's fine. Okay. As long as I can get... And it's going to be the same, same okay. case number. All right? Okay, because... He's my... He's a report. He's my name and badge number. Okay, You guys have any other questions? He's your ID badge. I have to send you guys the video. Uh, either... If you have the iPhone, the last time I sent the deputy the video on the iPhone, because he has an iPhone. If you have that, that'll be easier. Like you airdrop it to me? Can you airdrop it? Um... I could probably airdrop it. And... How long is the video? And I'm sorry, do you have, do you have, a, do you have a separate video too? Uh, well, we all have, so yeah. you guys already have those videos. Okay. Um, so if, you, that's you all in there. The video that the incident that you're reporting, maybe you're reporting to, you already gave the deputies that video? Oh, yeah, they already, yeah. They already okay. Yeah. yeah. Do they have your video as well? Not the one do that. Do you want to airdrop it to me? I do, but I'm going to, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to sit down. I'm going to have to sure. cut it yeah, down and then airdrop it. How long is it going to take a long Thank you for watching Impact Media, your go-to educational channel for all things public filming. We hope you found our content informative and engaging. Remember, your support is crucial in spreading our message far and wide. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. By doing so, you'll help us reach more people and make a positive impact in the world.